Hi guys, welcome to this free anaesthetic tutorial on buprenorphine. We have taken a different focus today in this tutorial. Rather than explaining principles, we have aimed this more of a revision session for those of you who are close to taking your Viva or OSCE. We have structured this tutorial around a CUP AM format with pharmacodynamics, pharmacokinetics and special points at the end. If you've never heard of CUP AM, don't worry too much. I will put a little explanation in the show description. Guys, I would be really grateful if you could leave a comment to tell me what you did and didn't find useful about the tutorial today. If there were any things you particularly liked or if there are any particular topics or drugs you'd like covering, um, I'd be very happy to do it. So just let me know. Hope you find this useful anyway. Enjoy. Buprenorphine is a synthetic derivative of the alkaloid Thebane. It is used for analgesia and to facilitate reduction of opioid dependency as part of a drug rehabilitation scheme. It is presented as a clear, colourless solution containing 300 micrograms per mil. It is also found in 200 and 400 microgram tablets and can also be prescribed as patches. The intravenous or intramuscular dose is 0.3 to 0.6 milligrams TDS. It can also be administered via epidural and to regional blocks to increase duration of action. Buprenorphine is a partial agonist of the mu opioid receptor. It also has affinity for the kappa opioid receptor. A key property is its slow rate of dissociation from the opioid receptor which may explain the longer duration of action compared to morphine, the relative resistance to opioid antagonist, and the lower level of drug dependence compared to the pure mu agonist. In terms of effects, in the cardiovascular system, it decreases the heart rate by up to a quarter. It may lower systolic blood pressure by 10%. It causes respiratory depression. It is a cough suppressant. It may produce muscle rigidity and causes histamine release from the lung parenchymal mast cells, which may cause increased pulmonary vascular resistance. With regard to the central nervous system, it is 25 times more potent than morphine, and like other opioids, it causes meiosis. Its toxicity profile is similar to the other opioids. It causes nausea and vomiting, drowsiness, dizziness, headache, confusion, and dysphoria. With regard to its pharmacokinetics, oral absorption is possible. However, there is high first pass metabolism, and therefore the sublingual route is preferred. The bioavailability of this route is 44 to 94%. It reaches the central nervous system unchanged. It is 96% protein bound and has a volume of distribution of 3.2 liters per kilogram. It is metabolized in the liver via dealkylation, then conjugation to glucuronide. Buprenorphine is excreted in the bile. Its clearance is around 1 liter per minute. It has an elimination half-life of around 5 hours and it cannot be removed by hemodialysis. With regard to special points, the respiratory depression may not be reversible even with high doses of opioid antagonists such as naloxone. It is not advised to co-administer buprenorphine with benzodiazepines due to the severe respiratory depression observed in this combination.